Hey everybody, so what I'm going to do in this video is uh, finish the review basically that I started in class. Um, you might hear some like noise in the background. If you do, then that's pretty much just like the noise from the background of my office. So um, yeah, hopefully this isn't a long video. Let's just go ahead and get started. So I wanted to go over, let's see, I didn't finish um, this example. I didn't finish this example. Um, this one's different from the PowerPoint, I believe. So it's good that you're watching this video. Um, and I didn't finish this example. We pretty much finished this one, but I didn't start this. This is like a new question here that I think is, is pretty useful. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and look at this problem. So I'm given um, the following equation. This is the equation for um, Bernoulli's principle, the Bernoulli equation. Um, and I'm given these units, and I'm asked to find the units for rho. So rho appears here, and it also appears here. So let's go back. I kind of already have it written out. Um, so example one, um, given this, so it's, it does differ, so I don't have this p here. So verify the equation through its fundamental units. So I basically have to, uh, what I'm going to do is plug in what I know for these variables. Uh, I think I'm missing one here. I kind of changed up, actually I kind of changed up the problem from this. Instead I'm just going to verify. So I also know that rho is in kilograms per cubic meter. Okay. So now what I have to do, if I'm approached with a problem like this, I'm going to have to basically just input every single unit uh, for every single variable I see in my, um, my equation. So the first thing I see is a, let's change the color. First thing I see is this half here. Um, if you remember from a few classes ago, I told you that um, any coefficients like this, like if this is like a 2 or a 0.5 or like any kind of number in front of a variable, um, we can just ignore it. So um, now I go to my next thing. So my next thing is rho. Um, I see that rho is in kilograms per meter cubed. Um, next thing I have v, and it is squared. That's very important. So V is in meters per second from here. Um, let's see. And it is squared. And then I have this addition, and I have rho GH. So now I can just like pretty much, again, write everything out. But if an equation is valid, and it has, um, different terms like like this term and this term adding together, then you can add them unless the units of this term and this term are the same. So we can't add, for example, like like the end um, like kilograms. This this wouldn't this would not work. So they have to be the same. So we know that this in the end, this unit and whatever this unit is with rho gh has to be, they both have to be equivalent. So I have meters per second squared. Um, h is in meters from here. Um, and this is all equal to, let me draw a line here. This is all equal to um, p on the side. So p, um, this is just pressure. It's equal to Newton's um, divided by meter squared. But Newton's can be broken down as well. This Newton can be broken down. I'll just write on the side here. This is something you'll need to know. Um, and that I won't give you. Okay, so let's see. Let's scroll down. Now, um, what I need to do is um, simplify stuff and then cancel it out. So, um, next step. 
Um, so I can, because these are dividing, I can distribute this square into um, meters and into seconds here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Let's just erase it here. Actually, let me just write it out. Meter squared divided by second squared. Um, then I have plus. And then on this side, I have just the same. Pretty much the same. Um, and this meter, we can say it's a meter over 1, because anything over 1 is that anything. And then we still have this um, Newton divided by meter squared. But let's go ahead and take this a Newton. Um, Newton divided by a meter squared is a kilogram times a meter divided by second squared. And if I flip this and multiply it, um, because this is technically meter squared over one, this right here, then I can get, I will get one over, that's a square, that's ugly. Let's see. Um, and this is what I end up with for this entire thing. Um, so now I can pretty much um, cancel and cancel one of those um, one here um, and what I'm left with is a kilogram per second squared times meter um, yeah, okay. Okay, so this is what I have for this side. What is this? Okay, let's close this. So now I'm um, going back to this side. Let's go ahead and cancel some stuff out. So I can cancel out to here. That's not what I wanted. Cancel out to here. Um... cancel out two. If I cancel two here, then I have to cancel two here, so I'm just left with just one. So I'm left with kilogram divided by um, meter second squared. Here I have um, two meters, they're multiplying, so they are equivalent to uh, meter squared. These two. Um, and then I pretty much have the same thing that I did here. So this meter squared can cancel with two here, so which leaves me one. So in my numerator up top, I just have that. I don't have these anymore because I canceled them. Um, and at the bottom, I still have my one meter and my one second squared and one, which is um, anything times a 1 is that anything. So on this side, yeah, let's do that. Um, and it pretty much looks the same. It exactly looks the same. So this is how you can say, so if you finish and your answer looks like this, you can box it or circle it, put a check mark, and you're done. And you've officially um, verified um, the equation through its fundamental units. So that's example one. Example two, I didn't write down. So let's. I don't know if I can, like. Let's just continue. Okay, um, example two. 
So I'm given that, let me just like write this stuff down. I'm given this equation that my force of G, my force, uh, my gravitational force is equal to a gravitational constant times one mass times another mass divided by a radius that is squared. And I'm given, I'm given um, um, f of g, which is the newtons, I'm given my radius, I'm given um, mass 1 and mass 2, which are the same, which have the same um, units of kilograms. And so I need to find the units for g. So I said, let's see, I said that my f of g is in newtons, which is also a, from up here, a kilogram times a meter divided by a second squared. My mass 1 is the same as my mass 2 and that's in kilograms. And my radius is in meters. So these, these are my fundamental, these are my um, units. These are uh, my variables, Fg, M1, M2, and R, broken down into their uh, fundamental, fundamental units here. So now I just need to replace um, all of these fundamental units in for where they go into the equation. And then solve for, get this by itself and solve for it. Get this G by itself. Um, hopefully this isn't too dark, let's see. Um, one good idea, I think, is to get g by itself at the very beginning. Um, so to do that, what I'm going to have to do here is divide um, the m1 and m2, divide the entire thing by m1 and m2. So I'll have, it'll end up over here as m1, m2, and then multiply the entire thing by, because they'll cancel here, um, then multiply the entire thing by r squared. So I'll end up like right here. And then that'll give me G by itself. So moving this up, so I have R squared times my F of G divided by M1. Uh, multiplied by m2. So now let me go ahead and replace it, replace uh, what I know about my units. So um, r squared uh, my r is in meters so I have to square this and I'm multiplying by uh, my f sub g. I know that's in newtons or that is also in kilograms times a meter divided by a second squared. And this is all divided by um, a kilogram for my M1 times another kilogram for my M2. Um, so now let me just like simplify. This might be pretty easy for you, um, but I just, I go through it anyway. So in my numerator, just looking at the top here, I have um, a meter squared times a kilogram times a meter divided by a second squared. Combining that, I get a kilogram times meter cubed divided by a second squared. 
Now on the bottom here, I just have a kilogram times a kilogram, or a kilogram squared. Um, now this is kind of weird, the way this looks, um, if you're not like too familiar with your algebra. Um, hopefully you are, but if you're not, then what you can do here is you know that this is over 1. You can um, flip it and multiply it here. And you'll end up with a kilogram times a meter cubed. times 1 over kilogram squared and combining it that'll give you a kilogram times a meter cubed times second squared or divided by a second squared sorry times a kilogram squared so I have two kilograms here um, I essentially need to cancel so I can cancel one um, one here one here so this now becomes a 1. Um, and I think that's it. That's basically all I can cancel out. So all I'm left with is a meter cubed and yeah this is I think what I'm left with. That's terrible. Okay, I'm just like trying to verify. Because I don't know, I think, I guess this is right. Let's check. Um, yeah. A meter cubed um, divided by a second squared divided by a, divided by a kilogram here um, I don't know if it's gonna say it here let's see I don't know I think you can look this up like on your own but yeah so this is what you end up with is this unit so um, you can box this answer underline it highlight it if you want and there you have it that's basically your answer um, okay so the last one I hope this video is like less than 20 minutes. I'm. <laughs> It'd be really bad if the video was like already into like the 20 minute mark. Who knows? I have really no idea when I'm doing this, but um, let's go ahead and add some more here. Let's go 6,000. Oh no, not 600. Um, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, okay. I guess that also works. Okay, so the last problem. So a hotel that you're building is in the shape of a right um, rectangular pyramid. Um, this is wrong. This is wrong. This formula. Um, it is this. Um, you calculated that its volume must be uh, this 7 million cubic feet. How tall must the hotel be if uh, the usable land that you have 
uh, purchased is 200 feet in length by 300 feet in width. So you assume that you're using the entire um, land and it's like, it's kind of like rectangular shaped, 200 by 300 feet. So um, this one's really easy. So you have your volume equation. Volume of a, let's see if I can draw a rectangular pyramid. Um, it's A times B times height divided by three. You're given that the volume of um, the hotel, in order to say like, let's say accommodate for rooms or something needs to be this. So 7,055,000. Um, And this is in, oh no. And your A and B respectively are 200, well, they like disappear, it's kind of weird. 200 and 300, and you need to solve for H. So this one's really easy. Um, you can, so here you just need to multiply the entire thing by um, the reciprocal of this here. Um, so you multiply by 3 over 200 times 300. This 300 cancels with this 300. This 200 cancels with this 200. This 3 cancels with this 3. And now you need to take all this to the other side. So. I'm left with seven million fifty five thousand feet cubed times three divided by two hundred feet and three hundred feet. And that's that's equivalent to my height. Okay. So I have one feet here, so I can cancel one, so this becomes two now. I have one here, this now becomes one, so I'm just left with like feet itself. And now I can go ahead and um, use my calculator. Um, and I did the math and I got Um, and then you can write tall. And that's it. That's pretty much the problem. Um, yeah, so this one, um, I don't know. I won't, this is a lot like um, this question, like, like this question, um, except you're not multiplying by seconds. Um, you're doing something else with what you get in feet per second. Um, I'll leave that to you. If you have any questions, by all means, email me. I'll um, be up until the late hours to answer any of your questions. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.